The 9,587th meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda for this meeting is threat to international peace and security. Oh, um, I'll give the floor to the representative of France. Madame la Présidente. Madam Chair. Madam President. Plusieurs délégations Several delegations dans la France ont exprimé de fortes réserves au cours des dernières semaines concernant cette initiative de la Russie lancée en l'absence de toute concertation préalable avec la Serbie. J'avais demandé à ce que nous évoquions le sujet en consultation le 6 mars il y a donc presque trois semaines, et j'avais alors indiqué que la Russie pouvait, si elle le souhaitait, organiser une discussion ou une telle réunion sur ce sujet dans le cadre d'une réunion en format ARIA. Cette possibilité reste ouverte. La Russie a ignoré ces remarques. Je rappelle que le Conseil de sécurité ne se réunit pas sur un ordre du jour unilatéral d'un de ses membres. Celui-ci doit être consensuel et soumis à discussion. Aussi, nous n'avons aujourd'hui d'autre choix que d'objecter à l'ordre du jour provisoire qui vient d'être énoncé par la présidente. La responsabilité de ce Conseil est de maintenir la paix et la sécurité internationale. Il est difficile de voir comment une telle de la réunion d'aujourd'hui s'inscrit dans ce cadre. Would la Russie meet argue that du fait que la situation du Kosovo est une situation d'actualité dont elle a connu ce Conseil. Et c'est donc d'ailleurs à ce titre qu'elle est en même temps objectée à la participation du Kosovo à la présidence de l'Union. Mais c'est au sérieux de se livrer à la pure rétrospective historique, de commémorer des anniversaires, ce n'est pas le rôle du Conseil de sécurité. Le représentant permanent de la Fédération de Russie l'avait affirmé and dans cette salle en 2015, rappelant very statement in this room in 2015 saying that we need to leave this street to the historians and justice to the tribunals. It's clear, even for Russia, that the topic proposed for today will not contribute in any way to progress towards settlement of the dispute. And we need to be careful with the resources of this council. It is cynically using the issue of NATO's military intervention in 1999 and is seeking to justify its war against Ukraine in this manner as it did in the past to justify its aggressive foreign policy in Georgia in 2008 and Crimea in 2014. And it's doing so to the detriment of the concerned parties, starting with Serbia, who again was not consulted before this initiative was launched. Indeed, there is no alternative either for Serbia or for Kosovo to reach an agreement and to, in a lasting way, settle their differences. This council needs to focus on the present moment and the future. Thank you. I thank you for the representative of the France, and I give the floor to the representative of Russian Federation. Madam President, we would like to express our disagreement on principle with the attempt made by France to question the meeting requested by Russia. A security council on the issue of the 25th anniversary of NATO's aggression against Yugoslavia. Весь мир вспоминает о жертвах печальных событий на Балканах, причиной которых стала незаконная агрессия НАТО под лживым лозунгом гуманитарной интервенции в обход Совета Безопасности против суверенной безопасности. Я понимаю, что сидящим за этим столом представителям НАТО это неудобно слушать, слышать и обсуждать. Однако это реальность, которая имеет отношение не только к истории, но и к тому, что происходит сейчас на Балканах. И хочу напомнить нашим французским коллегам, которые позиционируют себя как за таких процедур работы Совета Безопасности, что за прошлое нами заседание уже назначено японское председательство. Его назначение было сразу же подтверждено по сети политкоординатор. Данное заседание фигурирует в программе работ Совета на март. 
was an assurance of March, which is widely available uh, to the, uh, through, through, through the SCAD. This is in the program of work for the 25th of March. It was disseminated yesterday by SCAD with the approval of the presidency. And it is only today that we found out that uh, the French delegation was planning to question the convening of this meeting. The fact that all of this has been published in the program of work means that the presidency had already issued their preliminary decision thereupon, ruling on this, on whether to convene this or not. And this way, Mr. Derivier is therefore proposes that we question the ruling made by the presidency. Well, then we would like to have a proper formulation to ask the President of the Soviet Union 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 I understand that the representative of France has uh, uh, asked or, or had uh, objection for the adoption of the agenda. Now I intend to put the provisional agenda to the vote. Uh, I give the floor to the Russian Federation, re representative of the Russian Federation. No, Madam President, that's not what I said. Я сказал о том, что решение о проведении заседания было принято, и мы оспаривали не повестку дня сегодняшнего заседания, а проведение самого заседания. Соответственно, вопрос, который должен быть сформулирован вами, должен звучать, кто за то, кто против того, чтобы проводить сегодняшнее заседание. I give, thank you for the Russian Federation, the representative of the Russian Federation. I give the floor to the representative of France. Uh, Madam President, the interpretation is exactly the opposite of what uh, the permanent representative of Russia said. I was never consulted on réunion. holding such a meeting. We adopted the program of work on the 1st of March figure. without this meeting Jamais being on the schedule. No Donc, members of the council were consulted, so I think they need to be consulted réunion. on holding Merci. this meeting. Thank you. I thank the representative of France. Now I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. I would like, Madam President, to put a question to you. Did you issue a ruling about convening and holding this meeting? I understand that was a question to the presidency. Yes. Um, well, we didn't include in the... Uh, we haven't included uh, this agenda in the program of work when we started the presidency. So I think it is appropriate to put the question uh, whether we shall uh, hold this uh, provisional agenda to hold. I'll, I'll give the uh, floor to the Russian Federation, representative of the Russian Federation again. I'd like to recall for your benefit, Madam President, that you confirmed the holding of this meeting. As did SCAD. Thank you. I give the floor to the representative of France. Je tiens à répéter aux membres du Conseil de sécurité que lors du jour doit être une décision collective prise par tous les membres de ce Conseil. Elle n'appartient pas à un seul membre. Elle n'appartient pas non plus à la présidence. Elle appartient de manière collective à tous les membres du Conseil. Cette question n'a jamais été posée au 15 s'agissant de la tenue de cette réunion et donc je suggère que la présidence soumette l'ordre du jour au vote. I will give the floor to the uh, representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. Well, in this case, what we have, according to the interpretation of the Prime Minister Rivier, is that all of the letters about holding meetings that we hold have no meaning, nor does the program of work have any meaning. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation. If I may, so to say, uh, state as a presidency, 
We have called for the meeting, but the agenda was provisional ones. So I think I intend to put the provisional agenda to the vote, if it is okay. Thank you. So I now would like to, uh, the, uh, um, the, I would give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Well, we're not talking about the provisional agenda, Madam President. We are talking about the, about the specific meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the Russian Federation. I think we have called for the meeting, and now we have set the agenda as a provisional agenda. And I would like to put the provisional agenda to adapt to now for the vote. So in order to facilitate the meeting, uh, once again, I would like to give the floor to the Russian Federation, the representative of the Russian Federation. Madam President, well, of course, Руководите нами в этом зале. Мы рассчитывали на то, что вы правильно сформулируете вопрос для постановления in such a way that we will consider it to be incorrect. I simply wanted to draw your attention to the fact that we, that we invited briefers to the meeting. I wanted to draw the attention of Security Council members to that. We have in the this room the, um, um, the, 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 the acting Prime Minister of Serbia, and it is unworthy of us to have this performance right here in front of him. And I would like members of Security Council Council to take this into account and respect those people who come in here so as to take the floor in front of the Security Council. I thank the representative of Russian Federation. I now give the floor to the representative of the France. Madame la Présidente, Madam President, la Fédération de Russie a lancé cette initiative encore une fois sans se concerter à aucun moment avec la Serbie qui a été mise devant le fait accompli. Serbia, who was put Depuis a, le 1er mars, ma délégation March, et plusieurs délégations ont expliqué cela à la délégation de la Serbie et lui ont dit Serbia, de manière claire et répétée que cette réunion ne se tiendrait pas et l'ont encouragé à dissuader ses responsables politiques de faire le déplacement. Il n'y a donc euh, aucune so euh, raison de se laisser impressionner par notre collègue russe. Dernière euh, observation, j'invite notre collègue russe à organiser une réunion ARIA avec les participants. Il peut le faire plus tard dans l'après-midi ou demain. C'est son choix. Извините, уважаемый представитель Франции, но утверждение о том, что мы не консультировали с представителем является, по крайней мере, недостоверным, если не сказать больше. Вот письмо о получении on the participation of the Premier acting Minister Prime Serbia Minister of, of Serbia in the, in the meeting today. The note to the, the um, um, permanent representation of Serbia. Information for the more about this meeting was disseminated through the political coordinators network and no one objected to it until today. Until today when we found out from you that you were going to bring into question the, the, this meeting. I thank the representative of Russian Federation. I now give the floor to the representative of the United States. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I, I want to make a couple of points here. Um, my mission uh, tried to consult uh, with Russia on this meeting and were rebuffed at least twice. And so, look, th this meeting was clearly not put to a decision of the membership. Uh, and um, as I've said, no consultations at all. Um, we support your effort to um, uh, put this to the procedural uh, agenda to a vote. Thank you. I thank the representative of the United States. And, uh, okay, I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Я не знаю, что такое представление представителей Соединенных Штатов, что делегация Соединенных Штатов была ребафт. Да, мы спорили по поводу проведения этого заседания. Такое случается по поводу этого заседания. Но это не вызывает такой неадекватной реакции, которую мы видим сегодня в зале. 
I thank the representative of the Russian Federation. I give the floor to the representative of the United States. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I apologize for taking the floor again. But uh, to address uh, the concern expressed by uh, the representative of the Russian Federation, when I say rebuff, I mean we tried to engage. Russia would not engage with us on this issue. Thank you. I thank the representative of the United States. As a presidency, I would like to make it clear, as a presidency, we have to adopt the agenda first and then invitation. So I would like to now uh, put the provisional agenda to vote to, to proceed the meetings. Now I would like to put the provisional agenda to vote. Will those in favor of the adoption of the provisional agenda threats to international peace and security, please raise their hand. Those who vote against. Those who abstain. Thank you. The results of the voting is as follows. Three votes in favor, zero votes against, 12th vote abstention. The provisional agenda has not been adopted, having failed to obtain the required number of votes. I give the floor for the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. We regret the fact uh, that you presented the question to the board not in the way it should have been. But if members of the Security Council are not ready to support what we requested for the 25th of March of today, a um, meeting under threats to international peace and security, well, then here and now, officially, we request here that we hold an open briefing on maintaining international peace and security so as to discuss the consequences to international peace and security which resulted from NATO aggression against Yugoslavia. And we request that aid to be scheduled at 15.30 on the 25th of March with the same briefers. I thank the representative of Russian Federation. I now give the floor to the representative of China. Madam President, 25 years ago, without the authorization of the Security Council and bypassing the UN, NATO flagrantly launched a military strike against the sovereign state of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, FRY, thereby starting an illegal war in the Balkans. This war has passed. 25 years has passed after the start of the war, but the tension in Kosovo is still high, and the wounds of the countries and people of the Balkans have not yet healed. Still experiencing wars, Europe is mired in a security dilemma. Wars waged against sovereign states under the pretext of human rights and humanity and violations of the UN Charter and international law continue to take place from time to time. The impact of that war 25 years ago is far from over, and its cautionary lessons are still profound. In view of this, China supports the holding of a meeting of the Security Council on the 25th anniversary of the NATO bombing of the RRY in order to take stock of and reflect on this important historical event and to discuss and debate how to uphold the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, practice true multilateralism, advocate fairness and justice, and safeguard international peace and security under the current circumstances. But regretfully, some members raised doubts about this, and the Security Council just had a vote on this issue. We are disappointed to see the result of the vote. President, here, before closing, I am compelled to say that during NATO bombing of the FRY 25 years ago, there was a deeply painful day that the Chinese people will never forget. On May the 7th, 1999, local time, 
NATO, led by the United States, launched multiple precision-guided missiles and bombed the Chinese embassy in the FRY, resulting in the death of three Chinese journalists, the injury of more than 20 Chinese diplomatic personnel, and the destruction of the entire Chinese diplomatic premises. This is a flagrant violation of China's sovereignty, a serious offense to the sentiment of the Chinese people, and a gross violation of international law and the basic norms governing international relations. The Chinese people do not preach hatred, but we will never forget history. The Chinese people do not advocate responding to violence with violence, but we will never allow the recurrence of such a historical tragedy. Thank you, President. I thank the representative of China. Now I give the floor to the representative of the United States. Madam President, I, didn't, I, I guess I didn't uh, you know, lift my button. That's okay. The floor to the representative of Slovenia. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Slovenia regrets um, that the situation in which we find ourselves today. Uh, when Slovenia joined the Security Council, we had a clear goal in mind, to contribute to building trust in order to secure a better future for all. Proposals such as the one at hand do not contribute to building trust, but rather seek to divide and politicize this body. And this will not lead us towards a more secure future. For this reason, Slovenia decided to abstain on the question on whether the meeting should be held. 25 years ago, Slovenia was a member of the Security Council with a war ranging in its immediate neighborhood in the Western Balkans. What we remember is immense suffering and killing of civilians, masses of refugees. We remember war. We recall Council's inability to act when needed. We remember failed peace initiatives and we remember the fear of recurrence of ethnic cleansing. Former Yugoslavia dissolved into devastating wars. Each of its nations went through difficult ordeals, some more tragic than others. But it was a painful period for each and every one. Three decades later, the wounds are still healing, but the, the wounds are healing, but they still hurt. We don't see value in reopening them. The countries don't have a common narrative about the history of wars on the territory of former Yugoslavia. All countries, however, agree on their common future, which is to join the European Union and its peace project. We appeal on the Russian Federation and all other members of the Security Council to remain focused on the main role of this body, which lies in maintaining international peace and security. As we witnessed just this morning, the Council is the strongest when united. We believe more efforts should be made in this regard. Thank you. The representative of Slovenia, I now give the floor to the representative of the United States. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, let me be clear. Uh, the procedural, this procedural vote today was entirely predictable and avoidable. It is unfortunate that the Russian Federation has wasted this council's time by insisting on moving forward with a meeting, even though it never had the requisite support. There's, uh, there's a saying for this kind of approach. It's my way or the highway. Fortunately, this is not the way the Council works. The United States has nothing to hide regarding its support for NATO's 1999 Operation Allied Force. NATO actions were necessary and legitimate to end ethnic cleansing in Kosovo. The United States voted to abstain today because of Russia's approach. While we can support a meeting in the appropriate format that addresses the impacts of events from 1999, we cannot support a meeting that so blatantly instrumentalizes the tragic events of the last century to further a propaganda campaign. The fact that Russia raised objections to Kosovo's participation today further shows its intentions. Let's also be clear. The meeting Russia called for is not about the Council discharging its responsibilities to maintain international peace and security. It is about the Kremlin's self-serving efforts to thwart stability throughout the Western Balkans 
manipulate this council to peddle its propaganda and inflame regional tensions in pursuit of its destabilizing ambitions in the region. The United States will continue to support responsible discussions in this council. As with the February 8 meeting with the President of Serbia and Prime Minister of Kosovo, and looks forward to the Council's discussion on UNMIC next month. Thank you, Madam President. I thank the representative of the United States. I take note of the request from Russian Federation to convene an open briefing at 3.30 uh, today, but as it is a very short notice, the presidency will, in co consultation with council members, inform the council members accordingly. There are no more names inscribed on the list of speakers. I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. This is not the first time, time I have to express regret over the decisions and rulings you made today. We convened the meeting and it was related to the 25th anniversary of NATO's aggression against Soviet Yugoslavia, the consequences of which continue impacting the degrading, deteriorating situation in the Balkans. And despite the cynical statements by our Western colleagues, this is not a, a, a historical issue. The situation in Kosovo remains on the agenda of the Security Council and is being actively discussed by it, and as we all very well known. Recently, the situation there is deter deteriorating catastrophically, and in order to understand how a lasting peace can be established on the land of Serbia, we need to be talking about the real, genuine reasons underpinning the escalation today. On the 24th of March 1999, coalition of countries of uh, the so-called defense alliance led by the United States uh, um, um, invaded the Federated Republic of Yugoslavia um, using the pretext of the supposed ethnic cleansings in Kosovo. In actual fact, uh, the police and military were fighting against the terrorist gangs in uh, um, Kosovo. The, um, the infamous Kosovo Liberation Army, um, one of the leaders is in the Hague now, were mercilessly destroying the Serbian and Albanians who were dislocated loyal to them, but with the Western propaganda made uh, the leaders of KLA into peace-loving guerrillas and the warriors of, uh, uh, of, of the good, uh, whereas those who were trying to protect uh, law and order became, uh, um, became criminals. And there were cynical provocations and the aggression of NATO against a sovereign country lasted 78 days and uh, became unspeakable sufferings and victims and damage to the local population. And this is something that the members of the Security Council and NATO is something that they, they didn't want to hear. The aggression of NATO against Yugoslavia became an egregious violation of international law, of the foundational goals and purposes of the Charter, of the Helsinki Final Act of OSCE, the norms and standards of international humanitarian law. Um, what was also seriously undermined was the authority of the Security Council, which never issued any endorsement of what was being done by the alliance against Yugoslavia. It was just simply presented with a fact. Since the very beginning of the uh, dismantling of the uh, Federated Republic of uh, Yugoslavia, which was staged by the United States, Germany, and other countries, and as a result of an attack against Yugoslavia, the alliance under undermine the existing security architecture, which ensured that there was peace in, in, in Europe for decades and decades. And this was a typical destructive characteristic of NATO. The attack against Yugoslavia launched a series of large-scale aggression by the United States and allies against Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, and Syria around the world. As a result, and the outcomes of these adventures are very well known. And this uh, is also where the um, anti-constitutional coup in Kiev in 2014 draws uh, its source. Some colleagues in the Security Council are going to tell today that the events that which are 25 years old is history 
history has nothing to do with, uh, with today. But any uh, reasonable person knows that the destruction, we'll see the destruction of sovereign state led to the chaos that is increasing, not just in Kosovo, but in the Balkans as a whole. And because uh, today the representative of France uh, stated um, today that is exactly what we were going to discuss today. You have to agree that this has to do with the deliberation of the Security Council, which passed Resolution 1244. And uh, finally, Madam President, since the representative of France stated today uh, that the provisional rulings of the presidency have uh, no force, so we will have to compel, since we cannot trust the written uh, communications by the presidency, we will insist on making sure that the agenda of all Security Council meetings will be done through a provision through through uh, a preliminary vote thank you i thank the representative of russian federation i now give the floor to the representative of france merci madame la présidente thank you madam president I'll be sur la question du Kosovo, les collègues Kosovo, autour de cette table se rappelleront table que le 10, 10 février dernier, le président last, de la Serbie, M. Vucic, Serbia, Mr. avait Vucic demandé à être entendu par ce Conseil du fait de la situation au Kosovo. Ce Conseil a immédiatement accepté son invitation. Euh, la invitation. partie Kosovo a été invitée aussi. Le Conseil de sécurité reste saisi de la question du Kosovo, de la mise en œuvre de la résolution 1244. Et nous allons bien entendu continuer à aider les parties à avancer vers un règlement. Le président Vucic est toujours le bienvenu à cette table. Il n'y a aucune objection à cela. Deuxièmement, Madame la Présidente, il m'a semblé, mais j'ai peut-être manqué quelque chose, que nous venons d'avoir un vote de procédure expliquant que nous n'avons pas de réunion. Donc je vous inviterai très amicalement à conclure cette non-réunion. I thank the representative of France. There are no more names inscribed on the list of speakers. The meeting is adjourned.